Hi YouTubers, I, I've got this bit of uh, thin hard ball which I've rubbed down primed with some dilute PVA glue and I've got my acrylics out. Uh, this is by way of an experiment, I've got, I've got a frame for this, in fact I've got four the same size. I've uh, just bought uh, this KY jelly. Uh, now I'm using it as an extender and retarder it's a good good mix it's quite expensive but it's quite a big tube of it 120 mil so uh, see how we go it, it should extend the drying time of the acrylic now, I'm not sure what I'm going to paint but it's going to be something simple uh -huh. right so let, let's let's just be bold and get in with a bit of of uh, paint I, I, I'm using lemon uh, lemon yellow uh, yellow ochre, a big wash of white, some uh, crimson, ultramarine and black. The only colour, or two colours, the white and um, yellow ochre are quality paints. The rest are store owned brand from Wilco's. So let's just get a bit of a sky in there. Got a low horizon. I've got a new pot of uh, of, uh, of the white titanium white. I think I'll use a bit of, PVA, a bit of uh, the dilute PVA glue as well. I'm not, I'm not using any polyfiller mixed in with with it. I'm just just want, to, want the paint at the moment. So it's let's get a more crimsony. This stage is just covering up, covering up the canvas, the board. Got lots of acrylic, but I've got loads and loads and loads of oil. So low horizon, a bit more white in there. Just give it a bit of a tint to the paper or the board, the hard board. There's something about that high or low horizon. Just done a video of a tour around my studio. No need for you to look at the uh, the board I'm working from. I'm working on an old table, makeshift uh, table like that. Let's get some white in there. At this stage of a painting, which is obviously totally different from watercolour, it's just a matter of just getting some paint down. Whatever you put on, you're going to change. So don't uh, worry too much about it. Let's just move my camera. I've roughed the board up quite a bit. Uh, bit of PVA glue. The PVA glue saves on the KY jelly. It's just ordinary woodworking glue diluted two to one. Two parts water, one of glue. And it's very useful as a varnish. But it doesn't help the paint dry. And I'm hoping that the uh, the acrylic gel, which is a KY jelly, is going to do that. Right, let's change the brush and get into uh, some low horizon stuff. Grasses. I've got a bit of bit of black in there, so a bit of bit of this and a bit of that. On our, well, one of the sites I'm on, the uh, British, Water, um, British Impressionist Society. It's very, very interesting. Some lovely artists on there. And there's one guy called uh, Andre Pallet, 
I'm sure he works in, well, he works in England because he's been putting on some lovely English views. I'm going to work down to that, that horizon with the clouds, but I just want to put some trees on there. And Andre Pallet, he paints very, very simply. And this all got PVA blue now and the KY. Okay, that's just a basic basic wash on there. You don't need to tint this board, it's got a neutral colour on it anyway. Uh-huh, right, put that brush in soak, get another brush. I'm using varnish brushes, the inch varnish brushes, all sorts of brushes. Uh, the long ones, the number 12, that's the inch flat, which I've just been oh, I've using one of it. They're made, these ones are made by ProArt. Oh, uh, hog, hog varnish. <coughs> They're lovely brushes. They last for ages. If you look after them, keep them clean. But I've had this for a couple of years now. I'm still going strong. I, have, I bought four. Then I bought another four when it was at the Art in Action show. I'm not sure it was last year or the year before. Time goes so quickly. I think it might well have been the year before last, because that uh, that will be the. Um, that was the last show. Um, I'm not sure I like that colour. I'm going to make some burnt sienna. I'll add that. Oh, I was cutting some tomatoes for frying up yesterday breakfast, and I decided that I would put a bit of my thumb in in the mix. So I can't use the tip of my thumb now. Just peeling off the plastic. Okay. Don't want any lumps on there. I'll just squeeze a little bit of that out. The, uh, the this this burnt sienna the wheel goes on. It's nowhere near as good as the artist. No, the cotton Winton Winton. Sorry, Winton student quality. Because how much of that I've used? That was a two hundred mm tube. That mixes beautifully in oil with the with the ultramarine. Right. We want to get some uh, just some landscape on on the horizon and this is a bit I want to dry fairly quickly I can even put in some buildings on here. I'm going to finish that uh, sky down to this. Okay. Very simple painting. We can even put in some bluish, show a bit of distance. All right, just going back to complete that sky. See that? It's still a little bit tacky, but it's, it's lasted as long, longer than it would normally. <coughs> so let's put a bit, a bit of blue in there, I think. A bit of blue and a bit of crimson. Just the initial wash, 
reason why acrylics take a lot longer than watercolours, or a bit longer than watercolours anyway, or my watercolours. I'm just going to put my apron on. I'm feeling that if I don't, I'm going to get it on my knees and I won't be too pleased. Tomorrow I shall be painting for Patreon. They pay a little bit towards the materials and they need to be looked after. You, my friends, get it all for nothing. Us blokes are not used to time pennies. Okay, I think we'll. Uh... Right, carry on. Carry on regardless. Let's get that. I explained many times the reason I, I don't use oil is because my uh, my old chest is not so good these days. And I used to use a cloth and, and very few brushes with my oils and I, I would rinse them out in, in paraffin or kerosene as you would call it. And the great thing about kerosene is that it kept the bristles beautiful and soft. White spirit doesn't. White spirit makes them brittle. That's got a little bit of softness in there. Now what sort of horizon do we want? We want light, don't we? But they're never white. Don't worry about going over the edges. Crimson. Just a bit of a squall going up there. The lovely thing about the uh, British Impressionists is that we're seeing a lot of work we wouldn't see normally over people that are not on YouTube. So you can use red and blue, makes a, a lovely shadowy warm colour. If you want something to look light, put it against something dark. Right. I can go over that with a bit of something. I think uh, my plane there, plane needs to be uh, more plainish. Uh, let's just bring in some some white here, more light. some of the ground colour, or the colour of the board shows through, that doesn't matter at all. But I do like painting with a knife, and I know, I think my, th my thumb's down on some of these knife paintings, or acrylics, because watercolourists don't like me doing it 
Anything different? But, uh, try to please everybody. End up pleasing no one. Okay, so we've got quite a nice, nice sky coming here. Needs to dry off a little bit now. Right, go back to that, back to that horizon. I think I got a bit carried away with those trees. I bought some in, but I want them quite small. I want to put in a, some simple buildings. See how quick you can change. What I don't want is uh, white. Not there anyway. A bit of yellow ochre mixed with that. Crimson. Take that white, cool that white. I can put in some more slurry stuff later on. Okay. <coughs> uh, going uphill there, aren't we? So let's get another brush. And then just re establish. I might use some viridian in this. Great lover of keeping things soft. I think viridian would be a nice addition rather than the back. So I've got viridian and uh, sap green. I might need to get some. Oh dear, that's gone a bit solid. Oh god. Poke it with a stick. Hmm. Look, how close here I come. Paper. Throw that away. Look at that. New viridian. I'm not going to muck about with that one anymore. Well, I don't need much. So I won't use. Use uh, the viridian mix is a very good mixer with uh, the yellows and the ochres. Nice. Yellow yeah, ochre is a good mix of it with it. As is blue. Ultramarine mixes with it very nicely. Let's get a bit of Okay, let's set that down for a minute. Go back on that horizon. Make sure that when you uh, take your brush out of the water where it's been soaking, there will be water in the ferrule. And there's nothing worse than dipping your paint in the brush, doing that, and then all the water starts coming out. So give it a bit of a shake if you can. <coughs> all right, bit of ochre. 
a bit of a bit of uh, red. Well, I can't say that the, uh, the KY is making much of a difference at the moment. I might not have used enough, but I don't want to use too much of it because it might just go from being an extender retarder to to diluting it far too much. Right, that's where we'll put our trees on there and make their building up. So, right, a bit of white and a bit of ochre, a bit of crimson. So it's a great thing when you're making stuff up using or trying to use what imagination we have. Sort of a turbulent stuff sky we've got here, quite like that. So let's just get a bit of a bit of body into that. That might be a bit out of. Bit too strong there, I think. So quick up a bit. Right, a bit of a darker colour, blue and red. Just merging that. Should be right, it's plugged in. Just check, it's plugged in. I'm back to my old uh, tripod here. Okay, well, let's leave that. We'll go back on the horizon and then we'll work out some some detail for it. When it comes down, I don't want that to go up here or there. Quite happy for that to come down. You can always go back over. I was a bit previous with those trees, I think. I just 
know, there were just too, too, well, not too strong, but too big and too many of them. Right, okay. Now I want a smaller brush. Got this one. Worn out. So let's have some some alizarin, some crimson, and some blue. Well, um, what we got? We've got the crimson and the viridian. That gives quite a nice dark. Which is what we want, dark green. So let's just. Like that a little bit. <coughs> that hill just didn't seem to want to disappear. I don't his one anyway. Okay, that's a bit better for the moment. Clean the brush and see if I can get in some some sort of houses, some muted bluish. Bit of blue and black, bit of white. Slightly off white. I'll get some trees around that. No, I don't think we will. I think we just develop develop that with one one building in. Uh, keep the brush clean. I uh, want another little. Uh, sorry, let's call this a tiny little number. Number one here. Number one. Right, let's get a. Lose it. Turn 
thing. She's one of those cheap packet brushes, I think. I wanted a flat plane there. More or less. Right, a bit of uh, bit of that. Yeah, Lizard and uh, And yellow ochre give a nice colour. It's a nice light greeny colour now just to just to complete that. Just wanted to separate those two a little bit better. I think where I am in all this, this abstracting impressionist type painting is that you don't need to put everything in. You don't have to throw the kitchen sink. It doesn't, if you do, it doesn't leave anything for the viewer to imagine. Nah. Or the great motto, I'll go away. Is don't let the picture do all the talking. So, I mean, that is such a simple picture, but it's taken the time to do. But considering I had nothing in my head at the time, but I must say, I'm, I am being influenced by Andre Pallet. <coughs> he leaves so much of his detail out and just puts in the bare essentials. And I thought it was a good try. I might just bring that to. Yeah, we want to just bring that sky back down, down a little bit into into there. Just. I don't like something painted out. Oh, you do this with oil. But it's much easier with acrylic because of the drying time. It's still so nice and moist, isn't it? Right, now yeah, we're getting somewhere. too much definition on that. Okay, get rid of that def the defo. That is still too high there, that's too 
too big of me pin it is pulling over me uh, me knee. So let's just get the artillery on that. I'll go back there again in a minute, I'll give it a bit of a bit of a dry. Um, let's put in some some sort of windows. That black is dry. Where the paint is thick on my palette. The paint is nice and soft. Now a bit of darker colour, so blue, yellow, I'm going to just put a little bit of foreground in there. Just marking time. Oh, that sort of just a bit of paint, light coming. I'm just going to dry that horizon <coughs> with a bit of a bit of glow. Right. Headphones off. I tend not to use my sable brush and my good quality brushes. Well, they're all, all brushes of good quality, they just do different things. But the sables, and uh, best to keep them away from acrylic, I think it's a bit, a bit risky. Unless you've got loads of money. So let's just. Let's see if I can obliterate that bit. I'll go back over it. Just that. Okay, that's nice. I like that alizarin. Oh, I call it alizarin, that crimson. With the viridian. A bit of blue. A bit of white. And we might get a nice bit of, bit of a bluey, greeny colour in here. Let's put in some back, but blue. So you never finish a painting, do you? Just made that a little bit less distinct there. I'm going to drag over it, do all sorts of things there. Eh? 
you could even put a windmill on that there. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to uh, put it in a frame. I'm not sure. I need to take the camera right back, but I'll just put it in a frame so we can see. Right. Oops, sorry, bear with me. the camera back away from it so you can see it a bit better so bear with me so there we are that there's a bit there that, that house it's it, uh, there's a bit above that house that, that's catching the light so I'm just going to take that out for a bit of a more of that uh, oakery colour of it, it's just a bit too stark. Oh, not that stark. Lost and found. Anything too, too detailed we can, we can lose. Okay, I'm going to let that go. That's quite a thin acrylic, different to the uh, knife painting. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get something from it. Um, it's a nice swirly. I quite like that. Now, what I'll do, I'll dry it off and I'll give it a coat of varnish. That's the PVA glue. Dilute. Okay, right. See you soon, folks. Bye-bye.